Saturday practice, tons of situational work. Uh, red zone, uh, we got backed up. We had four minute, two minute. We did some middle of the field work, got punt. Uh, field goal, field goal block, just a lot of great situations. We had the officials out here. Uh, and uh, it was just a really good day. So it was the end of a really good week. We had four excellent days. Monday was probably not a great practice, but I was really proud of the way they responded to that and put three good ones together on Wednesday, Thursday, and today. So I think we made a lot of progress as a team. I think the progress offensively was probably evident if you watched it. You know, they're starting to get it. And, uh, and that's obviously our objective, and they've just got to keep getting better. So um, just excited about their attitude, their work ethic, the way they're competing the way they're cooperating with each other uh, and the work we're getting done and the progress we're making. So, good day, good week. Does it matter if one side is ahead at this point or does that not, does it seem like the defense is ahead and the offense is catching up? Is that, does that matter really? Or? What matters is progress every day. You know, on both sides of the ball really, in all three phases actually, is just you want to see progress. And it's not, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, you typically, I'm having trouble with my words here. It's typical for the, the offense, even an experienced offense, to be a little bit behind initially when you go into spring ball or into a training camp situation just because of the timing of things. But what we saw this week, especially in the last three practices, was our offense just take a big step forward in their execution, in their understanding of what they're supposed to do, in the fundamentals of their position, and, and then in their production on the field. So. Uh, I don't know who's ahead and who's behind. I mean, in one part of practice today, the offense is ahead of the defense, and next it's the defense is ahead of the offense. To me, it's just, are we making progress? Are we moving in the right direction? And it's very evident to me after seven practices that we are. So that's, that's exciting. A few, a few of the offensive guys have been talking about 1% every day, get better 1% every day. Have you heard that phrase, and do you know where it came from at all? I, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a phrase that we're all using. And... Uh, it's just, you know, we come out here as, a, as an individual and try to get 1% better than we were the day before. If we can all do that collectively, then we're going to make progress as a team. Did you start that phrase? We started it. Okay. Yeah, we started it. Eldridge, Massington looks like he stepped up a little last couple of practices. I agree with you. Yeah, I uh, thought that Thursday night he was really, really a standout. And then again today. Looks like he's playing with a lot of confidence. He looks like he's healthy. I think he's doing a really good job of taking care of his body. One of his problems in the past has been that his knees get sore. Um, Eldridge is one of those young men that has a tendency to overtrain. You know, he he leaves the practice field and he'd go out and he'd run on the track, and it was really counterproductive to his development. And I think he's learned, and uh, and he's doing a really good job of keeping himself on the right track in terms of his health. And then. Therefore, he's more productive on the field, and his confidence is growing. And as his confidence grows, the quarterback's confidence grows in him, and you just see a great synergy. It seems like there's some plays that are more conducive for his talent. Do you think Jed Fish has had that kind of design for him? Not yet, but he will. Right now, it's it's putting plays in, running plays, learning concepts. But I think you're right. There, there's plays that, that AVD and L – you know, are going to excel out, especially in the red zone. When you put it up high, you put it on the back shoulder, and they can use their body to to shield a guy from from defending it. We saw that on Thursday, that last play. And today, you saw it a little bit. It's not necessarily by design yet, but it's certainly part of the process of you know working them into positions that, that accentuate their abilities. We saw Deshaun came off yesterday with the or the other day with the arm and sling. Is he, is he all right? He had a shoulder subluxation. Um, he'll miss the rest of spring. Well. I don't know that he'll miss the rest of spring. He'll miss the next week. He's got some rehab to do, um, but hopefully he'll be, you know, ready to roll for for our, uh, August camp, if not before that. Because you know he's really doing a nice job. He's made a lot of progress. We want to keep him on track. Bolu looked a little banged up. Today. He got. Uh, he just got a little stinger in his neck, and uh, he he's fine. He's walking off, and oh, that's not him. It's Theo. <laughs> It's good when you compare Theo to Bolu. It's good for Theo. I don't know if it's good for Bolu, but uh, uh, I think he should be fine. Does Ossie Ossie have a chance to play this year? Um, at this point in time, it doesn't look promising, but uh, Uncle Angus is, you know, he's working it. He's working it. So uh, we're not, we're not going to concede yet. You know, we're going to look for, a, for an opportunity to get him 
eligible, but there are certain rules that you know that are pretty stringent. So. After two weeks, are there guys that have flashed for you that you haven't mentioned yet? Someone like possibly Marcus Moore. Um, I'll tell you who's flashed, and I, I hate doing this because I inevitably forget somebody. But uh, I'll talk more about young guys. Um, Jordan Wilson, to me, has, has done some really good things through seven practices. Marcus Moore has a speed and a burst and acceleration that you like. I need to make sure that he can get through these next eight practices healthy and continue to progress. And, and if he does, you know, I don't know exactly what his role will be on defense, but I think he certainly has the physique, the speed, the quickness, the mentality, uh, the toughness to even maybe help us on special teams. You'd like to have a big guy, fast guy like that, running down on kickoffs or protecting on punts or doing something like that. I think Dimitri Felton keeps getting better and better. And I'm not just basing that on that last play he made. I see him getting better and better. I think Audie's getting better and better. Um, Jalen Starks, you know, we had him at fullback. We're putting him back at halfback some and fullback. Uh, you know, we, we think we might have an opportunity to add a fullback to our team here after spring. And if that's the case, we'd like to let Jalen play running back. Even though he's 200, you know, 200 and a lot of pounds, uh, you know, he's more suited to be a running back. Um, I think that uh, Mike Alves is doing some good things. I think Paco is doing some good things. Um, I'm, once again, I'm talking more about the young guys. Um, I don't want to forget anybody, and I will. Oh, well, we start with Osa. We moved to that side of the ball. Osa is doing outstanding. I mean, you talk about a strong, powerful young man. Uh, he is. He's dynamic, and uh, he's made a ton of progress. Gozi is doing a really good job. Um, I think Nick Terry, now he's an older guy, but he's new at the program. He's made progress. I think the interior part, well, I think our defensive line has a chance to be really good, and I like the guys inside. Uh, you know, they're young, and they've got work to do, but when you talk about Boss and you talk about Matt Dickerson, and we'll move JTM in there sometimes, and then Osa and Gozi and, and Nick Terry, and then the guys, you know, Martin Anderson, the guys that we're going we're gonna to add, and Greg Rogers, it's a, <laughs> it's a pretty dynamic group, so that's exciting. Um, Jalen Phillips obviously doing good things. Darnay's doing good things. I think that Denzel Fisher is taking a step up. I've really been impressed with the work that Chris Barnes has done and the progress he's made. Deshaun Holiday was, and now, you know, he's set back a little bit. Um, even Brandon Burton, now he got a little stinger today, so he had to sit out part of practice, but moving him to linebacker, he's made progress. Having Breland out here, he's making progress. I, you know, uh, I'm right now, I'm excited about Mossy, you know, in the secondary. So right now, you know, I told you guys we'd kind of see where he'd go. I'm liking him on defense right now. He does some good things, so. And then J.J. Molson, you know, J.J.'s doing a good job. So, and, and Austin and, and, and Stephen Flintoff are, are showing more consistency. Were you talking about a grad transfer to Tolbeck? I was talking about potentially a grad transfer and, and potential uh, a pretty dynamic walk-on type player as well, so. And you're still in the market for other positions, grad transfer? Yeah, we, we uh, yeah, we're in pretty good shape with some guys that, you know, I'm not allowed to name them yet, but. Okay. Uh, you know, our priority is obvious, obviously offensive line. Um, if we could add two guys there, and we are, in, you know, we are in really good shape with a couple guys, uh, that would help us, and then potentially fullback. Uh, you know, I thought maybe linebacker might be a position, but I think Brandon Burton stepping up. I think Breland Brand stepping up. I think Deshaun stepping up. And then Zan Cuevas, who's a walk-on quarterback, who's now playing <laughs> linebacker. What a, tra what a deal going from quarterback to linebacker. You know, he's given us something, too. So, What did you think of the uh, NCAA approving the early signing period? Were you a fan of that? I, I don't have any thoughts on that yet. I just haven't had a chance to really think about it. You know, my focus was when that came out yesterday, it was just on today's practice. I just haven't sat down and thought about how it will affect us. Um, Dimitri and our compliance people and our recruiting office, they're doing a really good job of just kind of coming up with some plans as we move forward, what it's going to look like. But for me right now, I just need to concentrate on this team. Um, I can't affect, you know, change. I'm going to adjust to it. We're going to adjust to it. So uh, I, I don't really, I haven't given it much thought yet. But you won't have two a days anymore, right? That was that's okay. I, I, don't, I don't think, I think that's a, uh, an overrated part of uh, fall camp. I think you can get great work done in a, in a walkthrough period. Um, you know, you can get great work done in a three-hour practice. Uh, you can get great work done in meetings. Uh, 
you know, we are getting great work done in the spring. Our players in the off season will have 21 voluntary practices that are player run. They're not mandatory, but I, I, you know, just from the attitude that I've felt from these guys, I would expect participation to be, you know, 100% or close to it, and that's on their own. So they'll make progress there. So I think sometimes two days, uh, you know, there's an old school. If you wouldn't ask my dad and said, "Hey, they're not letting you have two days," ah, you know, I'd be like that. But that's, you know, there's just kind of a new way to do it. So he might, he, you know, he might even give you the playoffs thing. I don't know. But, <laughs> but just at this point in where football is, I mean, I think being safe and being safety conscious is so important. I mean, we want young people encouraged to play football. You know, I want youth teams to be filled with young athletes wanting to be great players and so we have to create an environment where parents believe that their children can compete and play in this amazing sport that offers so many life lessons and be safe so i'm all for it you're going to get another uh, assistant coach too as part yeah. of that deal 10th so. coach do you have a position targeted that you would like to not yet to okay. and we're not at, we're able to add that until january okay and you, you know how things change in this business. So there will be some that are available that I didn't think were, and you know they'll be changed. So uh, as we go through this, we'll decide what the position is that makes the most sense for us to have the type of program we want to have. Thanks, coach. So, Thank you. Okay.